This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and a name that has become synonymous with breast cancer research in Chicago is Lynn Sage. Through the eyes of her daughter, our Suzanne Lemonio gives us a look at the woman who has done so much to help in the fight against this disease. How do you remember her? You know, I remember her as being really nice, vibrant, beautiful, kind. I mean, she was my mother. Laura Sage was only 13 when her mother, Lynn Sage, died from breast cancer. Her sister, Hallie, was 11. Of course, I also have memories of her being sick. She was sick for almost five years. Lynn grew up in Chicago and attended Nettlehorst School and graduated from Lakeview High School. Children were her passion. She would go on to become a pre-K teacher. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 34. When your mother was sick, the advances that we have today didn't exist. No, it was completely different. That a woman diagnosed today has a much better prognosis than my mother did close to 40 years ago. One in eight women will get diagnosed with breast cancer, and of those women, 91%, actually a little bit higher than that, will be alive five years later. And if that woman or man is diagnosed early, then their likelihood of survival is over 98%. Lynn died in 1984. The following year, her husband Yale and friends and family founded Lynn Sage Breast Cancer Foundation in her memory. Laura was recently named a co-founder. Her sister Hallie is chair of the board. To date, the nonprofit has raised nearly $50 million with the goal of eradicating breast cancer. So your organization focuses exclusively on funding research that doctors do in the battle against breast cancer. That's right. We help fund Dr. Craig Jordan, who was the founder of Tamoxifen. Tamoxifen has helped millions and millions of, of people worldwide. The organization funds the Chicago Breast Cancer Research Consortium, bringing together researchers at Rush, University of Chicago, and Northwestern. The researchers do clinical trials for breast cancer patients at those hospitals. The idea is to provide equitable health care and these really cutting edge treatments that are often a lifeline for somebody once they've been diagnosed to anybody in Chicagoland. Laura says the nonprofit's goal is to give hope to those diagnosed with breast cancer through the Big Hope sculpture on display at Pioneer Court on Michigan Avenue and raising funds through their annual fall benefit at Theater on the Lake on October 24th. What a legacy that you've left behind for your mother. Yeah, I think she'd be very proud and it's really a gift to be able to do this in her honor. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS News, Chicago. CBS News Chicago is a media sponsor of the Lynn Sage Breast Cancer Foundation Fall Benefit on October 24th. To learn more about the benefit and the foundation's work, log on to our website, cbschicago.com.